come up with a uh, beautiful name, Marikura. It's a bid for ownership. If you name something, you own it. Was the Fenua not enough? I will be raising our daughter while you pop in from time to time and give her things that I won't be able to afford. And if she has this big fancy patsy Maori name, then you'll be able to feel like she's really yours. Go and get Roy Mata pregnant and forget about us. You have a real talent for formatting. Never underestimate the power of white space. <laughs> Do you want me to email it through to DHB? No, not yet. I have a meeting with Gloria Springer this afternoon. I shall test the waters with her. Good luck. Thanks. Scotty, how are the rosters looking? More gaps than nurses. And if you're here to tell me the bureau budget's been cut again, I don't want to know. Well, it's not all bad news. I happen to know of a very good surgical nurse who's looking for work. But you'll have to be quick. Central's about to snap her up. What's her name? Jill Kingsbury. Right. She's got a good reference from her previous employer? I don't think she gave him time to write one. No. Mm. But uh, she's got a new number. I'll write it down for you. Okay. There you go. No pressure. Thank you. I say grab her while you can. She's an excellent nurse. Yes, I know. But she didn't have to send a new boyfriend down to ask for a job back. She didn't hear that from me. Whoa. What'd that locker ever do to you? Oh, just be grateful it wasn't the front door of your place. Where I was feeling when I left, it'd be off its hinges. Why? What happened? I tried to talk to Sarah about naming the baby. She doesn't want to know. Oh, no, that's she said not... she's the mother, and she'll decide on the name and anything else that's important. Her, not us. Do you really think she meant that? Who knows, mate? She's all over the place. I mean, one minute we're making plans for tomorrow, and then she's telling me to clear off, you know? Come here, go away, come here, go away. Come I'll on. It. Bro, she's not thinking straight. It was a hellish birth. She's still getting used to looking after baby. She'll be scared about her MS, scared of the future. Of course she's going to be emotional. her again. Well, I'd leave it for now. All you're going to get today is another argument. Why am I working myself up thinking about Sarah? I mean, Roy Mata's back tomorrow. Excellent. Yeah, I just work myself up wondering if she's going to marry me or not. I shouldn't have said it the way I did. I know how it must have sounded. Sarah's lost the plot again. He wants a say in naming his daughter. What's so wrong with that? Nothing. Of course he'll have a say. But you don't want him coming around anymore. Well, not whenever he feels like it, no. Only when you click your fingers, because that is what he'll be thinking. Yeah. Then why cut him out? You know he'll make a great dad. Better dad than I'll be a mum. That's not what I meant. He could give her everything. A proper home, security, a huge family, a gorgeous, healthy stepmother. I bet most people think she'd be better off with him. No, they don't. You're her mum. A crazy, deluded mum. All this time, I've been kidding myself that once baby was born, she might bring us back together. Even when TK made it perfectly clear that she won't. Every time I see him, I have this huge, aching regret. And I can live with it. I have to. But if I'm going to be the mother that I want to be, I have to look after myself too, which means keeping my distance from TK. Do you really think you can? I don't know. I don't know. Honestly, all I did was edit Camilla Nash's proposal down to something more readable and steer down Shane Tucker. It was my pleasure. Well, we're all very grateful. Thank you. How's my halo looking? Oh, it's too bright to look at the clear. I haven't told you the latest. Callum has a new girlfriend. Please tell me it's not Gloria. That would make more sense. At least they're the same generation. Is it someone we know? Oh, I thought I knew her. I thought she had more sense. Who? Jill Kingsbury. We saw them together. It never even occurred to me. Me neither. Golf. Well, this is a new low, even for Callum, stealing his son's girlfriend. Well, it might be true love. Whatever it is, it's none of our business. Dr. Murphy isn't back yet? No, I thought he would be. Maybe I've scared him off. Nope, here he is. Alex, sit down. I can take you through it all. 
Thank you. Oh, wouldn't you know it? One of my asthma patients is here to see me. That was very well timed. I'll be back. Well, is this everything I asked for? Except for some supplementary case notes. Why haven't you printed them off? Dr. Freeman didn't ask me to. I'm asking you to now. I'm afraid I won't have time. I have to do something for Dr. Freeman. She keeps you busy, doesn't she? I like to be busy. What is it that's so important I can't wait? Her grocery shopping. <laughs> She's a Marsden, all right? I beg your pardon? She'll try anything if she thinks she can get away with it. You're her research assistant, not her damn slave. Case notes, now please. It's early days, of course, so you're the first person I've spoken to about it. Hmm. Chris, Rachel. Callum has been telling me about his new proposal for a drug and alcohol counselling unit at Shortland Street. I'm not giving away secrets, am I? No, of course not. Uh, excuse me, I have to take this. He doesn't change, does he? He's always got some pet project he wants us all to get enthused about. <laughs> this one sounds good. Mm, they all do. Until someone sits down and does the maths. Mm, he could be onto something, though. A couple of counselling places have closed lately. There's a real gap. I have to go, I'm afraid. Uh, minor emergency. Mm. Well, as long as it's only a minor emergency. Yes, it's uh, containable, I hope. Mm. Well, when you put that fire out, don't forget to send me your proposal. I'm very interested. Thank you. I will. Excuse me. If I was him, I'd be looking for a partnership with the Graham Foundation. It's exactly their sort of thing. Mm. You might want to let him know that next time you see him. Sure. Mm. We really must have that dinner together soon. Excuse me, I'm wanted. You know what just happened then, don't you? What? You saved Callum's butt yet again. That proposal of his was dead in the water until you said it was a good idea. Gloria obviously values your opinion. Maybe. So use that for your own agenda rather than Callum's. I don't have an agenda. I don't believe you. Or if I do, it doesn't involve sabotaging Callum. I thought I made that clear. No! The cut-off date was three weeks ago, before I started working here. Mm, when I was out of town. You're right. I've got no one to blame but myself. All right, find me the original tender, and it'll be under surgical tourism. If we change the dates on the last proposal, get it to them now, they may let the deal roll over. Somehow I doubt it. The Americans told me months ago they'd be looking for a more competitive bid. My notes should be there with the original contract. They are. Does it say to expect competition from at least two other hospitals? That's not official, of course, but my sources are usually reliable. What can I do for you, Rachel? Gloria asked me to give you a little hint about your counselling proposal, but it can wait. Well, it will have to. We're rather busy here. I can see that. Where are you going to find the extra money? Well, it'll be here somewhere. Don't worry. Oh, but I will. I can either fret about it at home or I can stay here and make myself useful. That really won't be necessary. I know this proposal backwards. Do you want my help or don't you? Sorry about that. You know what some days are like. One distraction leads to another. But all for the good of the drug trial. I'll have to take your word for that. How are you placed for tomorrow morning? We can go through the notes together then. Oh, no need. Winston managed to answer all my questions. I didn't manage to get out earlier. If it's all right with you, I'll go now. Sure. Up to the supermarket, are we? I shouldn't be more than 45 minutes. No hurry, so long as I've got Brett for the morning. Good night. Am I missing something? Are you two... Don't be silly. So he's not buying your groceries out of love. He's doing it because he has to. He doesn't seem to mind going the extra mile. And you don't mind letting him. You really are the same sport brat you always were. Good night, my lady. I'm sure Scotty will huff and puff about it, but what's a few miffed nurses in the short term if we get to keep the surgical tourism contract? We? Oh, sorry. Old habits. I don't see any other way, do you? All right, then, I'll get Lana to type this proposal up tonight and get it out first thing. Good luck. Thanks for all your help, Rachel. Oh, you would have got there without me. Sooner or later. <laughs> it's nice to know you're still loyal to the place. I might have been helping out a friend. Well, that would be nice, too. I know what it's like to wrangle budgets when your mind's on other things. Life can't be easy for you right now. No, it's not. 
Well, things will work themselves out. They always do. So good to see you. You look good. How's your folks? Uh, amazing, actually. Yeah, I think they got the message pretty early on that I didn't want to talk about the we... Yeah, yeah. Um, it was the aunties who wouldn't let up. When are you going to get back with this fella of yours? When are you going to send a new date? So when are we? Yeah, muck around. I just got in the door. Oh, sorry. Um, actually, leave those. Jill's back at her old place, and I'm going to go stay with her for a while. Oh, OK. Don't be sulky. I just need some more time to think. Yeah, look, thinking's great, but you know what's really going to help is talking. I know, but... Neutral territory, how's that sound? I don't think there is any. Not in Fender. Well, there's a hotel room in the Bay of Islands with our name on it. What? I called to get a refund on the deposit, but they wouldn't give it to me, so... The room's there, empty, and it's ours for a week. OK, so you want us to go on our honeymoon to talk about whether we get married or not? <laughs> Look, I've got the week off, and I could book the flight now, and we could go at lunchtime. Um, um, I don't know. Jill sounded kind of weird on the phone, and I think that something's up. Right. She's my best friend. Yeah. It's okay. I'm sorry. Let me show you something. Nurse education budget allocations for the next six months, due for discussion at the end of July, which is what, five days away? Are you seriously telling me I have to start all over again? Scotty, it doesn't have to be as drastic as you're making it sound. Wendy won't be happy. Won't I? You know how we were talking about training you as a theatre nurse? Next year at the earliest. Assuming there hasn't been a mass exodus of nurses going somewhere they're actually valued. Look, nothing is definite. I didn't realise you'd be this far down the track. I've made promises, Callum. Wendy isn't the only one. All right, Scotty. It's probably best we don't start tinkering with your budgets at this late stage. We will find the money elsewhere. Thank you. Any sign of a roster yet? No. But you get that when everything changes at the last minute. Oh, I'd grovelled enough on the phone. Obviously not. No, I, I think that was directed at me. Coffee, my lady? Or was your minion already provided? Herbal tea. I'll make it myself. I'm surprised you know how. I know a lot of things I didn't know when I was 16, Alex. I know what it means to be ashamed of your own father. I know what it's like to have an alcoholic mother with no income. I know what it's like to borrow my way through med school because daddy's ill-gotten gains are all locked up in an offshore bank account. I know what it's like to slog my guts out trying to make a career. And finally, finally, I know what it's like to have a little bit of respect from my peers. But none of that counts for anything, does it? Because to you, I will always just be Dirty Grant Marsden's daughter. Callum opens hospital departments okay. the way kids yeah. open Christmas presents. He gets all excited about one, and then two minutes later, it's forgotten. Or in his case, it's been compromised to pay for his next big idea. Camilla Nash. Camilla, hi. Thank you for letting me stay. I think Nicole, it's her place, for the moment at least. Yeah, I can't believe she's moving in with Gabrielle and Bella. Well, I think Maxwell's the real attraction. The lease expired and she had to do something. She couldn't afford the apartment on her own. Mm. I wonder who'll get it next. Well, actually, Camilla just had a call from Callum. The start date of the construction of the pool has been postponed indefinitely. Are we surprised? It wasn't Callum's baby, was it? Come on, then. The original travel junkie is not settling down in Ferndale just for the privilege of working at Shortland Street. Who is he? Actually, there is someone. Knew it, who? Well, if you must know, Callum. Callum who? Callum, Callum, Callum Mackay. What? Okay, don't congratulate me too loudly. I'll be swamped with well wishes. Um, okay, hang on. All right, just please...
tell me you weren't with him when you split from Hunter? No, I wasn't. Honest. Wow, okay. How was Hunter taking this? I was expected. <laughs> Man, and I thought I had a complicated love life. No, yours is that simple. Just hurry up and marry TK. Yeah, he wants me to go away with him to talk. And you said? I said I'd think about it. But Sarah and the baby are still going to be here when we get back. Yeah, they will be. Get used to it. Just get married first. I'm sorry. I had no idea. Thank you for the apology. Was there something else? The day after your father was arrested, we had a date. You stood me up. You stood me up? I went to that cafe. You weren't there. I was late. I stupidly told my mum and dad I was going to see you and they wouldn't let me out the door. So I snuck out my bedroom window. You must have just missed me. Well, I called your cell phone. Your house. We had to disconnect all the numbers. Abusive calls. I waited at that cafe for hours. Then I went to your house that night, the next day. My mother was probably hiding in the bathroom. I left a letter in your mailbox. I didn't get it. Probably got mixed up with all the hate mail. We stopped opening it pretty quickly. Well, I didn't hear back from you and then... You uh, gave up on me? No. School got in the way. My parents gave me the hard word, knuckle down and get some decent grades or you won't get into med school. The shame would have killed them. We sold the house, moved somewhere cheaper. I've Googled your name a few times over the years, you know, the way you do. Nothing since high school. But then I was looking for Brooke Marsden, not Brooke Freeman. She is a completely different person. And you're not who I thought you were either. Do you know how much money kids Aotearoa have tied up in that pool project? Hundreds of thousands of dollars donated by people who are expecting to see it built by the end of this year. And for every dollar of theirs, there's another dollar of hospital money that right now could be better spent somewhere else. Funding the surgical tourism program. Well, the money has to come from somewhere, Rachel. The nurse education budget. I thought we agreed. I reconsidered. You're right. Got to keep those grumpy old nurses happy. I know. Let's take it from the sick children instead. Oh, please. Look, the Charity Queen Act isn't going to cut it in here. I know you too well. You're only here because your ego was bruised. You were so proud of yourself twisting Shane Tucker's arm to get a commitment that this hospital simply couldn't afford. That is not true. You got what you wanted and nothing else mattered because you didn't work here anymore. You still don't. Remember that. I helped you last night. Now I'm asking for you to do something for me. Find another way, please. I've made my decision and it's final. Please excuse me, I have a meeting in five minutes. Kia ora, TK. Auntie Queenie, I have a feeling it might be you. Uh, no, we haven't decided on the name yet. Well, that's what you're ringing for, isn't it? Yeah, of, of course. Of, I don't know. Look, look, I've, I've got more important things to think about, okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, bye. Hello, me. Uh, you're just in time for lunch. Actually, I'm not hungry. Go pack your bags, we're going to the Bay of Islands. <laughs> sort of a crazy idea, is that? <laughs> it's not crazy at all. I mean, the flights are paid for. I've called the hotel to tell them we're coming, so you cannot say no. Oh, what if I don't want to? Huh. Yeah. Hi, yes, please. Um, 76 Granger Road, thanks. Go pack your bag. Yeah, um, the domestic terminal. I'm starting early. Just the one to celebrate, Chris. Surgical tourism contract was just renewed. Well done. 
Excuse me. Well, if it's good enough for him, shot of your best whiskey, please. You have no idea how good that sounds right now. I won't tell you the latest thing. What? The Americans came through. Callum is probably in there right now with Gloria taking credit for all your hard work. Great. You can come watch if you like. Rachel, darling. Callum didn't tell me you were joining us. I'm sorry, Gloria. I can't stay. I just wanted to let Callum have these phone numbers of all the parents who'll be directly affected by the therapeutic pool not going ahead. I thought they'd understand it better hearing it from you in person. Well, you can practice on me. What on earth is she talking about? Unfortunately, we've had to delay the start date for the construction. It's been pool. postponed indefinitely. To secure the surgical tourism contract. Which Callum forgot to retender for. We had to put together a proposal last night. I did it again, didn't I? I must stop saying we when you and I both know I'm the one who did all the work. Credit where credit is due. Rachel was a big help. I thought you should know the facts before you start thinking about his counselling proposal. That's a whole other budget we just don't have. I did it again, didn't I? That's a whole other budget that Callum doesn't have. Thank you, Rachel. I certainly see no point in discussing it till we know what's what with the pool. One funding crisis at a time. Thanks. Call me. You just damaged your reputation as much as mine. You know that, don't you? I'm sure they'll understand when they realise how long I've been making you look good. I had to crack under the strain eventually. Oh, and when you crack, you really crack. How long before you're back in the gutter, Rachel? With an empty bottle in your hand. I suppose that will be my fault too. This coming from the man who wants to start an alcohol counselling service. Good luck with that, by the way, because you're going to need it. Marry me like we planned. I'll never let you down again. I promise. Is it too late? Did you get it? I was humiliated. To make it right. Please say no. Shortland Street, 7 o'clock tomorrow, TV2.